I'm Roger Weens. I am a senior scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory. I am the principal investigator of the ChemCam instrument, which is on the Curiosity rover exploring Mars. I'm also the principal investigator of the SuperCam instrument. That is an instrument that will go on a new rover that NASA is building now for launch in 2020. ChemCam is a revolutionary instrument that is designed to remotely and rapidly investigate the composition of rocks and soils anywhere within about 25 feet of the Curiosity rover. ChemCam has a powerful laser that takes the energy of a million light bulbs and projects it into a spot the size of a pinhead and it does it for five billionths of a second. And with that, it creates a, a little plasma. And then we can look at the that these plasmas with uh, a spectrometer which tells us the color spectrum which tells us the composition of these rocks and soils that we want to analyze. Since landing on Mars uh, a little less than four years ago, ChemCam has analyzed almost 1,500 rocks and soils along the rover's traverse. And then we've taken about almost 10,000 context images to document that. ChemCam has been completely instrumental in characterizing some igneous rocks that we found along the way. In fact, we've now found rocks on Mars that look like we'd find in the Rocky Mountains. NASA is now developing a new rover for launch in 2020. This new rover has a lot of the blueprint of the Curiosity rover, but it'll explore a new area of Mars. It's going to uh, generate oxygen on the surface of Mars. It's going to collect samples it's going to store them someplace on Mars where a future mission can come, pick them up, and bring them back to Earth. SuperCam is basically an action hero version of ChemCam. And NASA has actually referred to it as a Swiss Army knife kind of instrument because it does so many different things. It sits up on the top of the rover, similar to ChemCam. But in addition to the chemistry that ChemCam does and the camera aspect, SuperCam has two new techniques that are both designed to tell us the mineralogy of the targets. And so this is very important for understanding the, where these rocks and soils came from and what kind of history they went through. If you think about the resources that we have here at Los Alamos, we have uh, built and flown over 500 spacecraft instruments, mostly for national security. And so with that capability, it is very easy to do things like the Mars exploration. People want to know, why would we want to explore Mars? But we could be standing here 120 years ago asking the very same question about why in the world would we want to explore human flight? I think what we have to do sometimes with technology and science is we have to use our imagination a little bit. What could humans be doing in the future? Because who knows, we might be doing it someday.